Is it wrong to be sexually attracted to another person? Coming up next on Pastor Bob Daily. Well, I have some good news and some bad news today. The good news is sex was God's idea. The bad news is it's your responsibility to control it. <laughs> Let's talk about this today. You know, you can't help but be sexually attracted to other people. It's really how you're made. It's how God designed you. Men are generally attracted to women. Women are generally attracted to men. And that's the way that it is. It has been for a long time. And we have, well, basically two opposites fighting against each other. The world says, explore your sexuality. Anything is fine. You know, any kind of urge you have, explore it. It's okay. Christians generally say, sex is not okay. Anytime you have a sexual urge or sexual thought, you need to get rid of it. Sexuality before marriage is of the devil. And we're left, well, somewhere in the middle. We know that we can't really live up to that strict standard in the church because we keep being attracted to the opposite sex. And then on, on the other hand, we realize that the Bible's full of, well, warnings about being sexually promiscuous. So what do we do and how do we handle this? It's uh, kind of a, a difficult um, subject to talk about simply because it's become so taboo in the church to even discuss it. But let's do anyway, because we never back down from controversy, do we? You know, if it's God's idea in the first place, then there must be some redeeming value to it. And I don't think it's ever wrong to be sexually attracted to people. There are still people that I'm attracted to as well. Everybody has those certain people that are just your type, you know, just the kind of person that you're attracted to, and you feel those things. It's very normal, very much the way God made you. It's what you do with it. You know, I always tell people that it's not wrong to play the trailer, but it is wrong to play the whole movie. You know, the trailer, that little piece of film that kind of shows you what the movie's about? You know, that just happens. And it comes into your brain at the oddest times, and there it is. And uh, you can simply watch the trailer and dismiss it and go on, or you can watch the movie and let it captivate you and many times let it turn into lust. The Bible does tell us that we are stewards of our sexuality. That even though God gave it to us as a blessing, it can become a curse, and you know that way too well. It's not something you're going to pray away because it's something God gave you. It's a blessing for you. But that blessing can turn into a curse if you keep playing the movie. Now, why do we have it in the first place? Well, it's the very thing that brings people together. Nobody would get married if it wasn't for sexual attraction, too. It's that one thing, that one strong feeling that two people have that really bring them together to get married. And uh, it's that one thing that will be uh, uh, in their lives, the rest of their lives, that continue to give them intimacy and that feeling of two becoming one. And so it's a beautiful thing there, and it's a thing that produces marriage. Before marriage, it's something that you have to control. It isn't wrong. You're going to have lots of trailers. You just don't have to play the movie. I hope that helps. <laughs> and I hope I didn't make you even more frustrated. God bless you. Have a great day.